today we will be adding all of the other necessary UI for our tower defense game like the health UI and the money UI. So let's just get right into it. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to go down to our building UI background and we're just going to insert a, another image. Now this image is going to be the background for our money holder, which will contain the money text. So I'm just going to design mine um, however I want. I'm just going to make it like a little bit long like so. I'm going to change the background color down here, which can be done by pulling up this menu and you can click on any color on your screen just so it will line up. Now I'm just going to make it nicer so that it is like so. As you can see, there's a little bit of a dark line. We can just move that down like so, and that is gone. That's because this is using the panel image. Now, if you want to change that, you can uh, click on your building UI background panel, which is this large object that I made in the last video. You can go down to the image component, and you can go to background here, and you can choose just a square. And what that will do is it will um, just use the square image compared to the normal panel image, which has rounded corners. Now I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing for this um, this money background thing. I'm going to click on the little circle. I'm just going to click square. And the colors are not the same, so I'm just going to make sure the colors are the same. So now they match like so. So next thing we want to do is we want to name this uh, money text background. And I'm just going to uh, right click on it, go to UI, and then I'm just going to go to text. Now we're just going to fit the text to this box, like so. And I'm just going to center align it. I'm going to make the text color a greenish color. I'm actually just going to copy the build button color just so that there's a little bit of consistency. I'm actually going to size this down to be about the um, the left margin at about the same of the um, the card here, like so. And if we type in like uh, money a thousand, you will see that it shows up just fine there. Now you can style this however you want. You could put it like up here or you could put it down here. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you have a money background and a money label. So the next thing that we want to do is we actually want to program this. So you want to go into your scripts folder in your project panel, right click, go to create and click on C sharp script. And we're just going to name this money text UI. After you create the script, you want to double click it to open up in our uh, editor here. And we just need to reference our money manager. So we can do public money manager, money manager, like so. And then we can just do public void update. And um, we can just do, we also need a reference to our text. So you, we need to do using in the engine UI at the very top of the script. This will um, import. Basically, that means that we can use whatever uh, is inside this namespace. So that means that we can then do public text. I meant text, money text. Why is that? Oh, whoops. I meant to do Unity Engine, not Unity Editor. Sorry about that. Make sure to do Unity Engine.UI instead of Unity Editor. So now you can see that we have a public money text field. And in this update function, all we're going to do is we can is we're just going to do money text equals dollar sign space or colon space and then a plus symbol and then do money manager dot get current money. String to oh whoops, we just need to do money text dot text. So this is what the uh, class should look like. We have a reference to our money manager that we will um, attach in the editor. We have a uh, text field, which will be a reference to our text object. And then in an update function, we will just update the, uh, the text objects um, text property. And we will just set it to um, the current money that we have. So if we go into the editor, 
if we go on to money text background we can click and drag the uh the money manager or money text ui sorry drag and drop you can see that we have the money manager here and we also have a money text referencer so go into your hierarchy panel click and drag the money manager onto there and then click and drag your money text into that text and now when we play the game you see that it updates we have a thousand dollars and when we do this you see that we have five hundred dollars so the health or the money text is working just fine next thing we have to do is the health text all right so the next thing we want to do is i'm going to add the health ui so i'm just going to add in a image to our building ui background like we did with the money and i and i actually made the decision that i'm going to put the health bar like so so we have the health bar right here and then the health bar is going to stretch all the way across like so I'm gonna set this background to be a very dark gray so that we know it's the back of a health bar. And I'm just gonna name this health bar background, like so. And then we're going to insert another image, UI image under this background. And we're just going to size it up to be the same size as the background. So just put and drag, and we can just color this a nice, I would say salmon red just so that's not completely um, blazing our eyes off. So the next thing that we wanna do is name this health bar bar, so that we know that this is the actual bar. And then under the health background, we can then put some text, scale it up all the way to be the size of the health bar, like so. Just finish it up here by drag to the corner. There we go. I'm just going to center line it, center line it, so it's in the very center of our health bar. And then I'm just going to say health 100 out of 100. And then we can just make that white. And that should be good. So the next thing that we want to do is we actually need to implement the health for our player, because that would be pretty, pretty important. So the next thing that we want to do is right click our project panel, go to create C sharp script. I'm going to name this uh, player health, go into the script right here. So we will make a um, private field, a private float of current player health. And then we will make a few more variables of public float starting health. So that we have a variable to set the player at the start of each round and then we're going to create a public void uh, damage player and all this will do is we'll take in a float amount and we will just do current player health uh, minus equals amount like so and we also want to make it to where we can uh, reset the the player health so public void reset player health and all this will do is set our current player health equal to our starting health so we have these two functions we can damage the player and reset the player's health we also need to be able to get the current player health so public void get current player health and this will simply just return the current player health just like so we need to make sure to do a public float get current player health so that we can return a float value being the current player health. After this, we want to go back into Unity and we need to actually program our uh, health bar to move along with this, um, with this value. So go into your project panel, go to create C sharp script, and we're just gonna name this health bar UI. Go into the script. And we want a few things. We want a public player health reference to our player health. And we can just name this player health like so. And we want a image reference. So go to the top of your script, very, very top, and do using unity engine.ui like so. And then we just want to do public image. And we're going to do health bar bar. Actually, I'm going to do health bar bar. 
So we have a reference to our player health script so that we can actually get the current player health. And then we have this image, which is a reference to the red part of our health bar. So we can change its size. So go back into your script editor. We want to do public void update. And we just want to set the health bar bar dot fill amount equal to player health um, and player health. And then we are just going to uh, grab the starting health. We want to do player health dot start. We need to make sure that I can spell it correctly. Player health dot starting health. Oh, whoops. Make sure you do get current player health like so. So this should be the line of code health bar bar dot fill amount equals player health dot current player health divided by player health dot starting health. Now what this does is there's this fill amount variable that we will um, enable in the script e e editor in a few seconds. And then basically we are taking a, per we are finding out the uh, percentage of the current player's health that they currently have. So if they have 50 out of 100, this will be uh, 50 over 100, giving us 50% or 0 0.5 so that the health bar will fill halfway. But we still need to enable this fill amount. So we still need to go back to the script or the uh, Unity editor. Uh, click on your health bar bar object and go to source image. Make sure to set the source image to be the square because this will um, make us able to do this. Under the image type, you want to go to uh, filled and you want to check the radial to horizontal and you want to set the fill origin to left. Now, now what we can do is go to health bar background. We can then click and drag our health bar UI script onto there like so. And we need a reference to our player health and our health bar bar. So we still need to add the player health to our game. So create an empty object, chuck it wherever in your hierarchy, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna call mine player health. And if you couldn't guess, we're just gonna click and drag our player health object on, onto there. Next, go back to your health bar background, click and drag your player health object into that field, and then click and drag your health bar bar object into that field. And there we go. We should be set. Now, why is the fill amount doing that let let me check oh whoops i just realized our mistake we need to make sure that when this player health object is first created so public whoops public void start we want to make sure to reset the player health whenever this object is created so go into your player health script create a uh, start function and just call the reset player health function this should work now if we go out of play mode and go back into play mode, you'll see that now our health bar is filled and we, I'm just going for testing sakes to make this a editable field in the inspector. So if we go to the editor, we can then go to our player health script and we can change our current health. And as you can see, as I decrease it, our uh, health bar diminishes but we still need to change the text. So we're gonna go back into our uh, player health UI, which is, we need to go back into here and then to here. Go back into your uh, health bar UI and we are just going to do public text, uh, health text. And then simply in the update function, I'm just going to set health text equal to um, mathf.floor. We want to uh, take the player health dot get current player health. Make sure to put the text right, right over there. And then after the uh, mathf.floor, we're going to add a slash like so. And then we're just gonna do player health dot starting health and that should give us the uh, text now what this is doing is we're obviously going to be setting the text so health text dot text we want to make sure that because this is a float value this can get a bunch of decimal places so we want to floor it so that this returns a int that is um the number below it rounded down and we just want to add a slash and then we want to add in the starting health and then if we go back into our ui over here hit play Go to player health, 
current player you current player health oh we need to make sure to set the texture reference in our health bar background so go to your hierarchy go to your health bar uh, background under your health bar ui script you'll see this empty health text field just drag in your text label that is on the health bar and that should solve that error really really quickly so as you can see that now our current health text also will uh, update so that is pretty pretty cool uh, make sure that when you're done i'm just going to drag my health my money ui back on over here and that is our new ui that we have added in this video so i hope you guys enjoyed in the next video we should be adding um the tower selection so that we can select the towers but I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.